Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. And today we're going to look at ServiceNow and how to do imports. Um, this is going to look at just one of the basic imports, kind of just bringing in records to a specific table. Um, there are other ways you can do this. This is just going to be a simple one. Uh, so if you've got someone that wants to uh, add some incidents that they did in Excel and said the tool, maybe the tool was down, which is unlikely for service now, but uh, maybe some reason they forgotten their password or something, and maybe it was an overnight shift or something. Uh, I'm not sure. But at any rate, they have this list of incidents they need to add. They've got all the information they need, and they just want to add it. So how do we do that? So the first thing that we're going to do is in the filter navigator here, um, we're going we're going to go to incidents. Uh, and so in this case, I'm going to go to just open. And then we're going to click this column options, this column context menu. Uh, or click that hamburger on the column, the three lines, whatever you'd like to call it. And then we're going to click import. Now you have the option here to do just an insert. You can do an update, and then you can ask to create an Excel template to enter the data, and to include the, if you want to include all the fields. Once you've done this, uh, in this case, we're going to do just a straight insert uh, we are going to create an Excel template to show, uh, and then we are going to include all the fields. So uh, I have done this just a few minutes ago, so usually we click the Create Excel Template right here. And what you're going to get is it's going to download an Excel uh, document like this. So this first page uh, is just, as you can see, this sheet is called Directions. That's exactly what it is. So it tells you kind of what to do with the columns, saving the spreadsheet, the rows, so just a really quick start guide. Super nice uh, when you're first doing the imports. The next page is going to be all of those fields. Now you can see there is some data in here. And the reason being is, like I said, I, I exported this uh, a few minutes ago and I also added some of the basic fields. So I added that active is true. I added the caller and then you'll see I added the short description. Uh, but you can see all of the fields here. And this isn't just fields that are on the form. These are fields that are behind the scenes as well. So you don't have to do this, um, but I always like to just add all the fields and, <clears throat> excuse me, the user can uh, hopefully will understand which fields to uh, enter in, things like short description. Of course, you would want to add like description, your service category. Um, the one thing to make sure of is that you are utilizing the validation. The nice thing is that when it does this, it will validate for you. So you will be able to select the specific items. I um, mean, you can see uh, I do have some custom fields in here, like my my test field. Uh, I think I may have created that in a previous video. So just to show that it is showing kind of all fields, whether it's on the form or not. And we're going to exit out of this. I don't want to save it. Uh, I do want to import this. I'm going to upload that template file and click Upload. Now, because this is one line that I'm importing, it should go pretty quickly here. Uh, the time it takes for this really kind of depends on uh, how much data you have. So it's a, always a good idea to preview your import data. You can see here that I've got one row. Now up here, it looks a little scary because there's no data in here. But I'm going to keep scrolling down because I know I didn't actually put a lot of data into it. Here we can see the caller is set, short description, and active true. So things look correct. And then we can see up here, it gives you some additional instructions. Uh, click complete import when you're satisfied. You click back to start over, select a different file. So if it's not uh, doing what you want it to, you can always go back. In this case, I'm going to move forward to complete my import. This will just take a couple moments here. And we can see that it does open. What this will do is this will actually show any of the ones that I've uh, done here. So the one of the ones that I've imported. So we can see I've got this number here. I'm going to just copy this. And then I'm going to go to open again just to see if I can find this. If we look right here, 
we do see that number. We'll paste that number so you know I'm not lying to you. I'm at 10025, 10025. Uh, we can see that my numbering system's gotten a little bit off in my system. Uh, this probably won't happen with yours. Uh, it's nothing to really worry about. I've been just doing a lot of demos in this system. So sometimes the numbering, uh, if I'm playing with things, will we'll get changed. And we can see I do have my incident. So once again, this is just a really simple way to do your imports. If uh, you don't want them on the incident table, change table, uh, to, to kind of quickly do them, uh, this is one of the ways to do it. In ServiceNow, there are multiple ways to do imports. Uh, multiple ways to do checks and updates, uh, and we'll take a look at those in some further videos in the future. That's all I've got for today. Thanks and have a great day.